No. Please, please, no. please, please, no. please, please, no. please. For the last time, I will not be putting Waluigi in Smash Brothers. Why not? Because he looks funny. Oh, come on. He'd be perfect. And why do you say that? Well, we already have Mario, Luigi, and Wario. The only missing piece now is Waluigi. Then tell me this. What games does Waluigi appear in? Well, he's in Mario Tennis, Mario Kart, Mario Golf, Mario Party, you know. He's in the party games. Then why do you think he'd be fitting for a game like Smash? Because Smash is a party game? What? Who told you this? I'll have you know that Smash Bros is a competitive esport that is designed for high-skilled fighting game tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> Man, get the f out. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. Alright, fine. We can add Waluigi to the fight. Waluigi. Okay, so he's in a tennis game, right? I guess we'll give him a tennis racket. A tennis racket? Yeah. It can act as a reflector so he can play tennis. In a game that only has baseball. A reflector? Why would he need that? Well, both Mario's have a reflector, Wario has a command grab, and Luigi has... Well, Luigi has bullshit, so giving Waluigi a reflector shouldn't be too much. Eh, I guess. Alright, what else? Hmm... Why not give him a bunch of Luigi's moves? What? Like, let's give him Luigi's up smash and back air. You mean the same up smash and back air you took from Mario and gave to Luigi? Pretty much. Reusing assets again. Nice. I mean, that's how I usually cram 80 characters into one game. Half of this game is basically clones. Remember when Falco was just Fox 2.0? And then I gave him Pikachu's forward air so that he'd be a little bit more unique. And then I gave Falco's forward air to Sonic. That's three characters with the same forward air. And then I took Sonic's up air and gave it to Banjo. Except Banjo's is more consistent. Hey, that just gave me a good idea. What's that? Let's give Sonic's up air to Waluigi. Yeah. Can't we just make something original for him? Okay, sure. It's Sonic's up air, but it sends down. Why does the up air send the opponent down? I mean, that do be happening sometimes. Like when Rob's down air sends up. Man, what the heck? It's also kind of funny. Is this character just a meme to you? Yes. That's basically all his reputation is good for at this point. Hey, I just got another idea. What if we made it so that if Waluigi stands still during a match and does nothing for 45 seconds straight, the map explodes? And then he auto wins the match. Why would that be a thing? Because wouldn't it be hilarious if you could win an entire match by doing nothing? Why would anyone find that funny? People think it's funny when Luigi does it. See? There you go again with the memes. Is that what you want this game to amount to, Sakurai? A game of memes? We added a plant as a playable character, Nintendo. Oh my gosh. Besides, how do you expect me to give him a serious moveset? What games are there to take inspiration from? Tennis? Golfing? Is he gonna golf on his opponents, Nintendo? Well, maybe we can look into Mario Party for some inspiration. Does he fight in Mario Party? No, not normally. Usually that game is making families fight each other instead. Then what could we possibly be inspired by? Look, all he does is roll a die- Oh my gosh! That's it! What is? Smash Bros is basically a game of random chance anyways. Take Game & Watch for example. His side B has a 1 out of 9 chance to knock apples out of you. Or just straight up KO you at 10%. Wow. And some people convince themselves this game is competitive. What if we took that concept and gave it to Waluigi? How so? Imagine this. Every time he grabs you, he rolls a die. If it lands on a low number like 2, the damage is minimal. So you'll take like 10%. Okay. Now imagine if it lands on a high number, like 9. What happens if it lands on 9? He summons Sephiroth and has him blow up the world. Waluigi time! <laughs> Waluigi number 1! <laughs> Why would his grab lead into another character's final smash? I mean, you'll probably rather deal with that than the final smash that Waluigi has. What's his final smash? Remember that goofy hippie dance Luigi used to do in Brawl? Oh yeah, it kinda sucked, so we got rid of it. Well, I've decided we're bringing it back. Why would Waluigi do this stupid dance? I figured this dance was perfect for Waluigi, since both him and Luigi have depression. What? What does depression have to do with this? You didn't know? This dance was literally Luigi's way of weaponizing his depression. Since when was this a thing? It was in the biography that I wrote for it. Let me take a look at this. Let's see here. Negative zone. This technique is a reflection of the dark side he embraced in his brother's shadow? What the heck, dude? And well, 
Given the dialogue Waluigi has in Mario Party, I'd say he's capable of such a depressing technique. I really need to start reading the stuff you developers write for these characters. You know what? That would be perfect for a dice roll number 10. What happens if the die rolls on number 10? The player gets depression. You know what? We can just keep him out of the game.